Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Great mm -hmm. to have you guys in here for this impromptu stream, guys. Hello, that's right. We are here again today. That's right, folks. Sorry. <laughs> uh, we had to reset. My son had some car trouble. I had to go get him. We were supposed to do this at 7 o'clock, and we had to come back and rush to get things on. So bear with us, guys, for a second. It's great to have you all in here. And, man, do we have something for you guys. And it's so good that YouTube has already limited monetized us, guys. So if you can help us get the word out, that'd be awesome. Because the funny part is, that's what we're actually going to be talking about tonight. That's right. Go figure. Go figure. Go figure. Yeah. That's right. Every time we do one of these things to help everybody with this, we end up getting it. But no worries. No worries. We'll be fine. <laughs> we will be fine. Well, that's okay. Yeah. The main thing is uh, we are here uh, to tell you something really interesting about YouTube thumbnails. As you know, uh, we talk about thumbnails a lot during our Tech Talk Tuesday. In fact, it's uh, one of the most asked questions during Tech Talk and our channel reviews is about thumbnails. So we decided to do this a little special with an extra news that you probably haven't heard before. That's right, guys. A little insider one that's going to help you guys maybe get a little jump onto it and find out what YouTube is looking for. We'll get into it in a minute, guys. Uh, if you guys can just help us get the word out right now. Hit the like button, tweet it out, tell friends, all that good stuff, guys. It really makes a huge difference, especially when we're limited monetization, guys. Cannot stress it enough. Tweet, Twitter is our savior then. So if you guys can help us, share it out, let people know what's going on. We'll get into it in just a few minutes. Why we always do that, guys, is, is we're not on for very long tonight. Probably max, max an hour, and that's max. But just uh, so we don't have to keep repeating at the beginning and all that stuff. So... Cassie, so Sassy's in the house. Thank you so much. Share it on Twitter. Thank you so very much. Do appreciate it. Izzy Fam, how are you? John Dilly, how are you? Chris ASMR. We got J Dog in the house. We got Stacy. Here we grow again. Little Raw Family, what up? what's up with you? Uh, Honey Mama's in the house. We have NWI Diver here, folks. We have Chrissy ASMR, Raw in the Future. Uh, who else am I missing? Sterling Silver's in here. Jack, Sandy, Claus, Logan, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So great to see all you guys in here, guys. Uh, I got great information for you tonight. Um, thank you so much for being here. If you guys can let everybody know, JM Moving Pictures. Anybody just joining us, we're already limited monetization, guys. And no, we're not worried about the 21 cents we might make of it. What we're worried about is the push to get people in. So if you guys can help us with that, let them know. Hit the like button, tweet it out. That makes such a difference, a uh, huge difference. Drone Evolution NYC, Food Forest Protocol, and guys, this is information every YouTuber needs. We're gonna get a little better insight through an app and get to look and see what YouTube is seeing and what you do. And, 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 you can even work around it to help make things better with your thumbnail to make it more pleasing for YouTube. Is it the holy grail? No, but it's a hell of a big jump towards something better than we've had before. That's for sure. It's definitely got us excited. Oh, We're going to be yeah. using this a lot. A lot, I can guarantee you. And we you. hope you do as well after we tell you how. <laughs> Dilo Flow, thumbnails are good. Thumbnails are everything, my friend. Thumbnails are everything. Think of every great game you've ever played, every great uh, album you've ever listened to, every movie on Netflix, whatever the case. It's a thumbnail, even that album cover, even that cassette tape, even that DVD, all the way up through is all the same. That's what drew you in to go to the next step. That's what out of all that array said, yeah, I want to go a bit farther with this. Most big YouTubers guys are spending a lot of time. Some spend 12 hours. That is well documented, guys. 12 hours on a thumbnail. That's back right. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I think we oftentimes think about thumbnails only as something we use on YouTube, but Andrew is right. Everything visual that you see as a banner, as a poster, as a movie cover, as the things you watch on TV, anything like that is a thumbnail. That's what it is. So thumbnails are all around us, and that's why we need to know and get in on how to make them better on our platform here. Mm -hmm. Definitely, most definitely, guys. We are a visual, we are visual by nature, and thumbnails play into it. That's why we have good and bad clickbait and all these terms and that. Because think of it, how many times were you jip when you went in over something on bad clickbait? Because it caught your eye. Is it right what they did? No, that's what makes it so bad. Because it preyed on your most basic instincts to go further. 
We're visual people, folks. We can't help that. That's in us. That's ingrained in us. That's the way we identify each other. Why does the algorithm like eyes and everything? Because we look at eyes when we talk to people. That's what makes a connection. Uh, shape of a body, all that stuff. Most of our most primitive beings in this universe is based on being visual. That's how we know when we get to somebody, what they're like, what they feel like, how we feel about them. Is it something or is it something that does it as well? If I show up your favorite food right now, the emotions it, 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 it enacts in you and that. So thumbnails are really, really sometimes uh, unbelievably underrated for what they do on here. They can make or break great videos, folks. Vexicor agrees and says thumbnail attracts the eyes of people who has interest on the video. That's very correct. And Daniel Colbin spent hours making his thumbnails. Mm. Uh, that's right. Not only big YouTubers, uh, all sizes of YouTubers. Uh, if you understand and you should understand the importance of thumbnail, you do spend a lot of time making it. And this tool is going to blow your socks off, guys. I guarantee you. I guarantee you guys. So hit the like button. Tweet it out. Tell friends, guys. Help us out. We are a limited monetization on this. We are limited stuff. monetization. We are not on the right time. And this is the second time uh, today. Uh, we only could fit it uh, today, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, so just we're forced. Otherwise, we wouldn't do it. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's crazy. right. So everything talks against us. But the thing that is for us is you in the chat. And that's what counts the most because you can share it out and click that like button and help us out because everybody needs to know this. And uh, Derek, it's great to have you in here. We're not doing shout outs, but it's great to have you. I love Dougie. So it's great to have you in here, though. Uh, Food Galore Mexico says most definitely thumbnails make a big difference from having your video viewed and shared. Yes, and there are some more definite uh, benefits that we're going to be mentioning as well. Uh, yeah. Something that you haven't probably even thought about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been having us thinking a lot. I can tell you that. Uh, we even went back and checked a lot of old thumbnails and got some extremely surprising answers out of it. Paul Peck is in the house. The Creator Spotlight Show is in the house. Great to see you. So many great channels in here, guys, already. Like we say, guys, we're under limited monetization. Thank you, YouTube. So if you guys could give us a hand and get the word out, we're going to get into it in just a minute, guys. We're not on for very long tonight, but definitely enough to show you guys how this works, play around with it a little bit, give you a feel onto it, so... Yeah, it's definitely something you're not going to want to miss. Any YouTuber is going to benefit greatly from it. So. That's right. We're going to give you a little overview of why, how, and where to make thumbnails with some information that you probably haven't thought about. And then dive right into that special tool that will blow your socks off, <laughs> as Andrew <right>. said. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go, folks. That's right. So, guys, get it out there. Help us out, guys. We really do appreciate the push. We always ask for it. That's normal. But tonight, yeah, once again, it's just frustrating, guys. It is so frustrating when you do something like this. And even this gets you limited monetization. Like, seriously, how many more hands do you want to tie behind our back? Well, how let's not more? anger the YouTube gods and uh, let's talk positive. <laughs> well, they've already, they're already pissed off enough. So we're going to give them. All right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Uh, careful with those socks. That's right. You know, you might want something else to blow off. Uh, <laughs> it depends, probably. <laughs> Stacy, thumbnails are beautiful and can caught attention, but it does Stacey. take time to be created. A uh, very true. Yeah. Yes, very true. That's right. Your thumbnail is as much a work of art as your video, live stream, whatever it is. It really is. It is the gateway to it. Same as your banner. Think of it, guys. Things work in order. There is a hierarchy. You get to somebody's channel, if you didn't see their thumbnail already, watch it. Well, your banner in that is your gateway. That's the first thing people are going to see. That's what's going to catch them. And then if everything matches, you got a playlist on your own page. And that, you have this whole array, this whole art form sitting there. Seriously? And of course, Grant McIntosh. I, Janet Grant, McIntosh Janet. is. Uh, Janet. Super sticker, super chat, super sticker, super chat, super Janet. sticker, super chat. It's a unicorn. It's Grant as a unicorn. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you so much. Thank uh -huh. you. It's a unicorn. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. And uh, if you're wondering what is going on, it's a thank tradition you. for super stickers here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Meryl Mary, hello, how are you? Ali Family 1983, <laughs> hello Todd. and welcome here as well. Sweeney Todd, uh, human sacrifice will appease the gods. 
I don't know. A video know. sacrifice. Uh, Lincoln Central Coins is here as hey, well. Lincoln. Peanut butter. Hello. How are you? Welcome, everybody. Welcome here. Uh, it is information that you will need to know. Stepping out. Hello. How are you? How good, are you doing? Good to see you guys. Like I say, guys, we're not going to be on for very long tonight. So, but this is definitely something we want to bring to your attention. Sorry, we were supposed to be on earlier. There was flash floods the other day, and my son got caught in an underpass in basically a soup bowl full of water with his car, and had to be towed. And uh, yeah, it's an utter mess, utter mess to say the least. A lot of people were stranded the other day from it. Murad's haunted adventures. Thank you so very much for the super chat. Do appreciate it. Sam's the super sticker, so thank us. Uh, yeah, so thank you very, very, very much. Just put kids to bed, lol. There you go, Supernatural Lost Adventures. Now you can sit back and put up your feet and have a chat with us for a little bit, guys, about something that's going to be... I, I can't think of a YouTuber that wouldn't want to use this, know about it. I can't think of one, whether it's a hobby, how far you go into it. I mean, in the end, you still want people to see what you do. Uh, how do you make a thumbnail, Pusa? Cane sample. Wow, that's right down to the basics. I'm, doing. I'm not sure how far we'll go in that. We don't have a lot, a lot of time tonight. We are going to do a little overview, as I said, yeah. about uh, why, uh, where, and how to do a thumbnail for those of you that are really at the very beginning of that. But we usually dive into that more during Tech Talk Tuesday. So we'll just do a yeah. little overview for overview for you, so we know what you know what we're talking about. Yep, and we're going to show you guys this tool. is unbelievable. It's gonna. I really believe it's going to revolutionize the way you look at your thumbnail. It is a dark, dark eye into the algorithm, guys. It really is. It doesn't answer all the questions, but man, does it shine a lot of light on them. Very, very impressed. It's like I say, it's that Xenia and I are super excited. And Drone Kings and Darwin uh, already signed the disclaimer from uh, uh, on the way in. Give me the secret. Good morning. Good morning. And Cabin Life with Glenn and Maureen. How are you? Awesome info. We're ready to learn. You guys are so awesome. Absolutely adore you guys. Great to have you in. I'm going to give everybody, though, the arena styles welcome, guys. We got to do that. We got to do that. Hang on, guys. In the meantime, like I say, we're living in monetization. So if you guys can let people know, hit the like button, tweet it out. It only takes 30 seconds. The more in the merrier. And we're going to get to it in just a minute. We're not on for very long tonight, guys. So let's get them in here. And we didn't want to start right away. Give time for people to come in so we're not repeating too much. With that said, let's do some arena size welcome. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this? What is this? John Dilley, Pusha Studios, thank you for all that you... Oh, my God. Oh, my... Aww, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. That is really, really kind of you, John. Thank, thank you. Thank you. do appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much for the Super Chat, And John thank you Dilley. for all you guys do for us. Forget even the Super Chat. Just being here, all that stuff, guys. Thank you so very much. All right, guys. I want to say some hellos here. Arena size. Let's crank up the echo just for that. We're supposed to be serious here tonight, but... Hey, when it comes to Rockstar it. Welcomes, you guys deserve it. I want to say a great big hello to 13 Past Midnight, The Real Brooklyn, Tommy Bites, The Creator Spotlight Shows in the House, Texas Made Food, Tennessee Kim, Sweeney Todd 70 is in the house. We have Supernatural Lost Adventures, Sterling Silver, Stepping Out, folks. Stacy, here we grow again. We got SK Outdoors. We got Shaw Dimes, ASMR. We have Scott's Thoughts channel in the house host. We got Ralph's Trucking in here, Mr. Honk Honk, the network guy. We have Pretty in Camo. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have Peanut Butter uh, 524 in the house. We got Paul Peck Drywall Tube, a.k.a. Super Pee Pee Man. That's right, folks. <laughs> Pee Pee Paul. Cup Man yeah, that's with right. a cape. There you go. That's right. We love Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Just happens with the initial. NWI Divers in the house. We have Murad's Haunted Adventures. We have Munching with K. We have Merrily Mary. Mana Mana. FPV. We have Lone Star Scratching. We got Lincoln Central Coin. We have Little Rock Family. We have Coento Palmore. We have KB211. We got John Dilly. Thank you so much once again for that amazing super chat. Truly appreciate it. We have JM moving pictures in the house, folks. We got JB barbecues and guns. We got Jason Childers in the house. And we got Iron Man 245. Who hit uh, 1K last night, right? It was uh, one yes, of, that's yeah, right. It was the last 1K, one yes. 
superhero. We have uh, Arn Spangles in the house, folks. We got Grant McIntosh and Janet McIntosh, the two that think they're so funny. And we have Gaming with Leonard. And we have Food Galore Mexico, Filipino Mom in Pennsylvania. We have Eli Family 1983. We have Drone Kings in Darwin, folks. Early morning for you. We have Don Thomas, the Time Lord. We got Deborah's uh, TV. We got Dan the Man TV. We got Dad's Vintage Garage. We got uh, a Curious a Curious Dad's Extrano in the house, folks. And we got Corbin Connection Comedy. Cassie So Sassy is with us, folks, and Kane Sample. We got Cabin Life with Glenn and Maureen. We got Backyard Gardener. Artzilla. Ashia and Amber D. Mason, welcome to all of you. If we missed your names, guys, please highlight so we can say hi. Ah, uh, Scrap Jockey's in here. Great to see you again, my friend. There you go. Let's give you a wrench. Great that you could make it. Pleasure to have you. Uh, anybody else, guys, we missed, just highlight our name and we'll definitely give you a hi as well. We got uh, Tennessee Kim and those folks. We got Disabled Disney. We got Dan the Man TV, Little Rock Family, Food Galore Mexico. I know I'm naming off some of the names that are already here. Purple Paisley Planner is in the house, folks. Deborah's TV, Vexicore, how are you? Mystic Days, how are you doing? Great to see you. Welcome everybody, Walker Fam is in the house, folks, past guests of ours. Uh, Egg is in the house, Egg, oh, that is short, that was really short. Uh, now uh, we have... Uh, the Psycho Ducky is here, hey. and Gaming is Leonard is back as well, and hello to everybody just listening or watching us, hello. <laughs> great to see you guys in here. Thank you so much for coming, guys. We've got some great info for all YouTubers, folks. You're not going to want to miss. We're going to get into it, guys, right about now. But just remember, if you guys can hit the like button, tweet it out. Tell friends. That would help a lot. We're not on for long. But YouTube is living monetized us again just for talking about the algorithm. Seriously. Seriously. Oh, we're munching with Kay. Thank you. We appreciate you as well. And the Cobra Roll. Hello from Friday. That's right. Into the future. MD Scratch Jedi are doing fantastic. Hope you are as well. So many great channels in here, guys. It's a pleasure to have you. Absolute pleasure. So, guys, I know I sound like a broken record. So, help us out, guys. Help us get more people in so they hear about it. We're on at a time we're usually not on. We're living at monetization. It just keeps happening. And yeah, we just need a little assistance with it. So you guys can help us. Please make sure to smash the hell out of that like button. And if you can, tweet it out. Let it know anywhere, guys. It would be an awesome help. Well, maybe we used one of those words in that other list that we talked about the other night. Who knows? Yeah, it's Who possible. Who knows? It's possible, guys. If you missed that, we talked about the list of uh, YouTube words to use and not to use on Tuesday. So check that out. Maybe use something dreadful like A or the or something like that. <laughs> it's yeah. possible. It's possible. That's right. If you missed that, check out our Tuesday Tech Talk. It's linked up above in that little I link uh, together with all all the other uh, different uh, YouTube streams that we had, all our live streams are public on our homepage, so check it out if you missed any. Well, I guess there's no time like the present to get into it. What do you think? Yes, uh, let's do it. So we don't have much time. Let's uh, down so, the music a little bit. Yes, uh, so let's do it and let's uh, step right into it. Uh, we are going to uh, try to go through what we have here uh, just uh, so we uh, fit into the time and then we if we have time, then we can answer some questions at the end. Do that? Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay, well, let's dive into it. So how to make thumbnails for YouTube. Uh, what do you think? Uh, why do we even need a thumbnail? Because oftentimes we see that people don't have any custom thumbnails or they maybe have just a freeze frame from their channel. Uh, well, there are some obvious things that we would think about like views and watch time and the more views you get and the more watch time you get and maybe people are liking what you are doing and you can actually gain the subscribers. That all is linked together. A great thumbnail tells you about what the video is about and if it fits exactly with your title, with your content, it actually makes people not only click but stay to watch as well. Something that might be new for you is that the thumbnail can actually earn you more money. If you are monetized and your thumbnail is advertiser friendly, you might get higher rate on your advertising revenue. That means more money per click on your advertisements that are placed on that video and unofficially suggested more on YouTube pages. Because as you know, they say they don't push the monetization more 
the monetized videos, but we all know how that works. <laughs> yeah. You need proof? Watch here right now as we speak. <laughs> That's right. So you can get views, watch time, subscribers, and more money. If you are wondering with a question, how do I get more views? I am missing my watch time. I have my subscribers, but I can't get to my watch time without live streams. Well, thumbnail might be your answer and an extra money with it. <laughs> the basics of the thumbnail uh, that we often usually talk about is but four things that you should be remembering is that it uh, should be in 16 by 9 aspect ratio uh, that's how all of them are and that's how our videos are ratio as well uh, it should be in the highest possible resolution that you can have but still under two megs in size uh, so pretty lightweight and you can actually upload jpeg png and gif as well maybe somebody didn't know that you can actually upload a gif as well but it has to be under two megs not recommended though yeah not, not recommended, not recommended. But and it's possible and even though it's 1280 by 720 try to work at 1920 by 1080 keep it at 300 dpi and then save it in jpeg high quality and work it down a little bit if you have to to stay as high to the max of 2k as uh, two g uh, meg as possible now, um, gotta remember that you can only do customized thumbnails if you have a verified account. So if you are just about to reach your 100 or just got over it, verify your account because that's the only way how you're gonna be able to upload custom thumbnails. I'll put the links in link in the chat. All you have to do is click on it and check if you're verified or not. Christina's journey, we can't go into that one too far tonight. I think that there's a lot of glitches going on. I was having trouble last night with my text all going black. Could and see it unless I clicked out. I think they're doing some updates and it's causing havoc. I'm sh pretty sure that's probably what's happening with you. Message me. I have some ideas as well. So uh, definitely uh, we'll see that. Uh, and uh, well, uh, so what is a compelling thumbnail according to YouTube? It's a close ups and focus. Uh, high resolution, accurately represents content, looks good in large and small sizes. Now, one of the ways how uh, you can create thumbnail is using different softwares. One of them, for example, just one of them, is canva.com right here. And there are two screenshots for you. Uh, all you have to do is just type canva.com and in the first page, you actually see uh, the option where you, you see that little green arrow, YouTube thumbnail. What it does, it actually already pre-sizes the thumbnail for that 19 by 6 uh, resolution and ratio. So it's already sized the way it should be. So it's not going to be cut off uh, when you upload it. So all you have to do is just click on that and it's going to provide you with uh, uh, thumbnail templates that you can see on the left side. There are numerous types of them that you can choose from or you can make your own from blank ones and then uh, just uh, download it. Uh, as you can see, uh, a little download button and upload that back to YouTube. Of course, you have tons of other ways as uh, TubeBuddy you can use, you can use Gimpy, you can use YouTube itself. YouTube not as much uh, suggested though. There you go. Now in the uh, last but not least, we're finally getting into the theme of the subject today. Uh, the theme of the subject today is AI. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's right. <laughs> my wife is trying to literally break my brain on this one. Is it okay to redo thumbnails on older videos? Most certainly, whenever possible, you can really jumpstart a video. And while you're there, you've probably learned now better how to do tags, titles, descriptions. Do them all at the same time. That is happens, guys, and videos do take on new life with it for sure. That's right. Well, uh, so our secret, as we just tipped you off, uh, is related with AI. And uh, we already mentioned at the beginning of our live stream that a lot of uh, big, cha big companies are using it, including Netflix is using AI, Google AI, to figure out which image out of all of the little shots from the movies are actually well, going to be the best thumbnail for you to click on and watch the movie. Maybe we can learn from them. Let's that, see how. That's right. <laughs> oh my God, it's like she's talking in code. I kid you not. Guys, welcome to AI machine learning products, Vision AI, folks. This is crazy. You wanna understand how the algorithm looks at your thumbnails? 
why it's not getting what you do, why you think this thing is what when you upload it is, is guaranteed to draw in the views and it's not. Well, this is not the answer to it. This is a big step towards that though. Really, really, really impressive. Industry leading accuracy for image understanding. Google Cloud offers two computer visions products that use machine learning to help you understand your images with industry leading prediction accuracy. What that means is, especially with the talk lately about monetization, that like I say, funny how this all worked out tonight with us. Wow, it is unbelievable how the algorithm can look at your pictures and things that you never thought of considering it or seeing it the way that it does is so cool. Now with this, uh, automated the training of your own custom machine learning models. This is to offer the technology for other people to purchase, use in their software. With this though, we get to try out some thumbnails and see firsthand how the algorithm is looking at them. Now there's prediction tools, but based on how the algorithm is working, but I gotta say, this here kind of blew us away. I'm gonna try one right now. Let me get out a thumbnail. Let me get one here. I got some set up. Uh, da, da, da. And we haven't tried these ones yet, guys, because uh, we've tried other ones uh, through the day. So I've tried to pick like a broad range. So we're going to try a couple of them right now and see what comes up. So the first one is somebody you might really know, a past guest of ours. There is Gil Skills, folks. And he got a big smile. That's why I went with him. That's a big smile. <laughs> Only Gil can pull off. All righty, guys. Remember when we're always telling you, and I keep stressing and stressing and stressing how important it is to put faces in and make sure they're clear and make sure like Linus Tech Tips, why they're going through all the trouble and making all those faces and that. And actually, I never thought to bring that up. Let me just get that up here for a second. I'm just going to put them side by side. And this will make more sense now when I've been saying that because this is an idea. Tech Tips, there we go. Let's go take a look at Linus for a second. We can't use other people's thumbnails without the, I don't want to, uh, without their permission. That's pushing it a little bit, but let's take a look at his thumbnails. Look at all the thoughts, you know, over-exaggerated uh, remarks. He had a lot of haters from his old uh, followers when he started doing this. Really bad. Like, I mean, he had to do a whole video on it. People were turning against him. But there's a reason why. Look at, you see like the Apple iPhone 11 reaction. Like you said, do you think I want my kids to grow up and see my face looking like that? No. No, he doesn't do it because he wants to. Because the algorithm is looking for the more pronounced you can make it, the better the algorithm understands it. So think of this face right now. And let's go back to our buddy Gill Skills. See all these dots? Same as anybody's used most digital cameras today and stuff like that. And some cell phones, face recognition. That is what's going on right now. It is reading the face, and you can see where it's ranking the highest is in joy, which I th it's so Gil. It's so Gil. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got to say it. It is so Gil skills through and through. But nonetheless, it is reading what you want to read. Headwear. You see there? Headwear. It can tell that he has something on his head. So these are words that are going to rank usually or keep you from ranking either through limited monetization, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Heavy Sora, anger, surprise, exposed, blurred. All things they're looking for that would trigger the possibility that it is either spam. And I'm gonna get into that in a second too. I'm gonna get into that in a moment. That or something that seems controversial. Now that said, we all know what's gonna happen and there's some people trying to do really good things on here. And if they're talking about their third stage of breast cancer, they're not going to be always all grins. Unfortunately, that's a whole nother part of the ethics. And this is how cold the AI is. For, and, and if you watch that video by Nerd City we were referencing, they brought up the same thing we've been saying all along is too. That's the problem with the gray area in here is the algorithm doesn't pick up onto it. And if they were just up front and said why they want to do it, it's because they don't want to take a chance in their advertising. That's why. It's not that they have hate towards people or anything. It's just because they're taking the safe way out. That's their closest way to make sure there's a good chance that advertisers won't get paired up with anything that is bothersome in any shape or form here. Let's go back to where you see this part here. They can see us as well. Now, YouTube does prefer positive emo emotions. It does pr prefer uh, expressions that are very confident, that are happy. Why? 
because it thinks that people tend to stay more on the platform watching things that are more positive. Now when it writes to the bottom, you see this confidence marker here? 86% confidence that you can put this thumbnail up and YouTube is not going to have a problem with it. Now, Morning Fame is offering this because I'm going to jump back and forth so you guys are going to have to bear with me for a second. I'm going to refresh this. Morning Fame started offering a version of this. Now, I got to remember. Uh, oh my God, now I'm trying to remember on this one here. Let's load this. Let's load jump because I've used it already. I think I can jump through to the end, right? Yep. Okay, now options. I want to change thumbnail. Uh, version one. Do they still have it? Upload. Okay. Uh, up, choose another file. There we go. Okay. And I want to go to here. I'm going to put Gil Skills in this one for a second. Uh, to my new folder. Gil Skills. There we go. Okay, so there's Gil Skills. Now we're going to show Vision AI. And this is using this technology, but the way they use it. Now, something that happened tonight that we noticed in other ones, and I figured this was going to happen again. See, a, so for adult, very unlikely. So it's not going to get hit, almost not for adult content. We figured that out. Medical gets two bars. Skills. I bet you there's something with skills into it that's leading it a bit towards, I bet you, five freaking must dollars. Must be, must be. Yep, there we go. So that might be doing it. Violence low, racy low. But you see spoof here is red, likely. That's because, why? This thumbnail already exists on, the, on YouTube. And that's what's triggering it. So people trying to copy other people's thumbnails and stuff like that is going to get a higher likely chance that's going to get seen as that and get limited monetization or demonetization, etc., etc., etc. So maybe yeah. you're using a stock photo and you're not sure mm -hmm. if uh, it might be free or might might be not. You're not sure where it came from. Uh, that might give you an idea, not 100%, but idea that it might be already published somewhere. So that said, we look over here and it says meta information, photo caption, 80%, text, 85. If you look down here, the two dots, the percentage tells how content the vision will, the vision AI is, uh, the percentage tells how confident the vision AI is that the given element is in the thumbnail. That means, so for instance, uh, photo caption is 88% sure text 85 it's all ranking very high so there shouldn't be a, it's sure there's a beard in there uh photography media advertising because of the name it's even reading as well oh sorry it's even reading push the studios and that it's our text below where we said uh, about us being a cinematography etc 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 so this is a great way and this how to reduce the spoof likelihood one good thing about it here is it actually breaks down what that means where the other one doesn't they have their own way of evaluating it and advising you on how you can work towards changing that to get a better rank this is really cool like this is unbelievable so i'm jumping back and forth we're gonna go back to the first one for a sec so there's our buddy gil now if we go over to objects package goods See how it goes? See when I highlight it? It's talking about the picture. It's seen at those packaged goods, 74%. Showing you the algorithm is not perfect. Hat, 62%, but it's funny because the hat is actually more exposed. But the hat, it is 62% sure that he has a hat on. And they're 60% sure it's human. Now, if we would be able to redo this thumbnail, if we ever would, we would probably think of how to expose the human more. So yep. human would be the, mon uh, the one that would be prevailing the thumbnail more than packaged goods or the hat itself. And that's where I would jump back to Linus Tech Tips. Look at with exaggerated features. That's what they were doing. Pushing the envelope, forcing the algorithm more and more to put heavy, heavy weighted view uh, percentage, excuse me, on the human uh, presence in the thumbnail. Right there, right there. See, there's a nice shot. Like if we were to do it over again, I would be like highlighting them from the background, bringing them to the forefront. I'd be playing with the contrast more, enhancing them more. A good rule of thumb that I've read many times is about 30%. I've always told you guys with thumbnails, you want to treat it like airplane food. Airplane food, they always add a little extra salt, a little bit of extra sugar, etc., because your taste buds don't work so good at 30,000 feet in the air. Same with your thumbnails. This isn't an 8x10 that people can sit and study. 
This is also why you can't show that beautiful, you know, I'm always using an example. If you make a thumbnail, don't show the lake and the mountains and a moose away in the back corner drinking and a bird flying. The algorithm can't pick it up properly. It's not sure what it can see, if it can see it at all. So that's why it's so important. Let's go over to labels. Photo caption, text, facial hair, mustache, fun. See, it's doing all these things and it's breaking it down. And okay, mail, uh, the advertising there, the media, photography. Oh. Now, what you probably, again, uh, should be doing when thinking about how to create or remake your thumbnail is make sure that the things that your video is about are in the prevalation, are on the top of those percentages. Mm -hmm. Think about what your title is, what your video is about, and that's what should be on the top of those percentages. Yep. Higher, the better. Higher, the better for the ranking. It's an, unbel it's an unbelievable, unbelievable uh, it, it, it changes the whole way. I mean, we could go back and redo every one of our thumbnails from this and make them 10 yep. times stronger. Exactly. It uh, literally gives you tips on how to remake your thumbnails. Yep. See, it's even taking the text. Even though it's a flat image, it's been able to dissect. You can see how well your text is seen. If it can decipher what's into it. Now, does the word welcome is imp important for us? No, it's not. So probably what we would do is would hide that. Yep. We would look through the text that it actually does uh, find there and not include the one that is completely irrelevant to our video and the thumbnail. Yep. Even the dominant colors within it. And something that is very important for you, especially if you are a kids channel with a new yep. new rules, is a safe search. So right here you can see uh, the same thing that uh, Morning Fame was uh, uh, showing as well. Uh, just the difference is that uh, Morning Fame is actually explaining what you could do in order to change it as well. Uh, so this is definitely something that you can use if you are a graphic material uh, channel, you know, maybe psycho channel, paranormal channel or horror channel, or if you're a kid's channel and you're not sure if you would be uh, within the guidelines or not. Let's see, new file. We're going to try one with kids now. The Walker fam, I don't know if they're still in here. They were our guests as well. We've been grabbing. See how it's known as every face, even the babies. But remember, because that picture is out further, they're not as close up, it might not be able to pick up everything. The more pronounced the face is, the more clearly seen it is, the better it is. Once again, Joy is ranking pretty high on here, but not as much because it's probably having trouble reading them as much, plus the difference of faces. So once again, though, this one has 96% confidence. I got to say I'm a little surprised on that one because of the children. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. It, it is, but, uh, you know, we don't still have uh, the rules up yet, so yeah. we'll see how it changes, if it does. It's not going to tell you if you're against community guidelines on YouTube. All it does is analyzes your picture, and then you can, um, you know, make the com the conclusions yourself. And remember, guys, I didn't, this now that we have multiple ones, see it's showing for every face. Every face, and you can tell which one it is. There you, go. you can see they're numbered here. So you know the corresponding numbers. So right now, face number five. Uh, face number five, I'm just looking to see which one it is. Face number five. It's the girl little, yeah, in, a, in a pink uh, dress. Yep. See, she's ranking at the lowest of joy. Uh, they sense headwear on her. So the rest are all pretty much around 100%, 95, 96. Let's go check object, person, 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 That's person. That's perfect because yep. the top percentage is, is on person and we want a person to be on the top. Yep. YouTube prefers a person. And then man and woman. See, it's even defining from uh, at the bottom, but it doesn't matter because the person on top. That's good. But I mean, it would be good to have these a bit higher as well. But it's even defined the man and woman with the children. That's why I'm wondering once they start going more safe, the combination between two and everything is going to be in there. So... Uh, labels, 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 text, poster, font, advertising. So, let's. I want to go to safe search. That's the one I was looking at. See, don't worry about spoof because that means it's already up there, which is a good thing. 
Because this wall, they're also trying to protect channels from mimicking and stuff like that. That's a problem, especially with big YouTubers getting it. So that's part of what they're working towards. Everything else is pretty much safeguarded onto it. So properties for the colors. Text once again, all broken down. It's gone right through. Once again, check out if it is relevant to what your video is about. The more relevant it is, the better it is for your click-through rate and watch time afterwards. Yeah, Dorsey girl, I know. We can uh, uh, not agree with their rules, but if we want to grow, we have to play that's by it. their rules. That's all. This at least gives us a fighting chance to start to get a, a bit of a grasp of what... That's all a lot of us want to do. And I mean, yes, there is that side where once some find it, they can work around it, but... It also is nice when you get a chance to get a bit of an idea where their headspace is so you can try and work within it. It's not trying to work against it. It's just trying to understand it. Uh, new fun. I try to pick thumbnails from different stuff. Here's one I wanted to try, an interview we did with uh, a huge Simpsons fan. And I was curious to see when Homer and Marge were in there, what it was going to think. Yeah, uh, he actually, Stephen Kesslovitz actually wrote a book about uh, Simpsons life, uh, as well as the one about Black Mirrors and all of the other pop culture TV shows and movies. Look at that. Confidence is 100%. They're 100% sure that it is a joyful image. <laughs> Love that. I'm surprised. I, I, I'm so, I thought this one was going to go through the charts on the smooth one, but top person man clothing see once again it's almost like it's not picking up fully in the Simpsons I'm not like sure like what is top my question is <laughs> a shirt I assume oh okay I, I don't know I, I'm not sure. Now, remember, guys, this is we analyzing our thumbnails, but you got to remember that this API is already analyzing everything what you have on your YouTube channel. Yeah. This is only we, what we are telling you is that you have a way of analyzing beforehand, before you publish them. So you know what to change, how to change it, to make it better, more optimized for this API that is already on your channel. And it's already there. Spoof is right at the very top. Yeah. Uh, Fox is probably one of the first that was so notorious for uh, for uh, filtering through. So I figured they'd put a lot, a lot of uh, safeguards in with their algorithm to help Fox out to keep them at bay. So, but guys, it gives such a window, such a window into how YouTube is looking at your thumbnails, why some things aren't going the way you thought they would go in that. I mean, it really does say a lot. It really does. And yes, if you go to Morning Fame, you even get more of a breakdown onto it, which is good. So, definitely. Uh, this option in Morning Fame is available with a keyword research option that is available for you every two weeks for 24 hours. It's a free trial uh, first month, or if you uh, sign up for the first uh, tier, then you get it also uh, every two weeks for 24 hours, or if you sign up for the premium, then it's unlimited. Uh, but uh, yeah, it also gives you the reason. What I like about the Morning Fame part is it gives you the reason why it is in red, if it is in red. Uh, you can play around with the API on Google. It's free, up to 1,000 uh, searches of images a month. So you can sign up for free, and 1,000 images can be searched for free. That's quite generous, I must say. Try another one. Sometimes it's a fish that is important in the thumbnail. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Another guest of ours. We were just trying. I just grabbed a couple that were different themes just to see how they reacted between like man and woman, man and their own family uh, with famous cartoon characters into it just to kind of get a bit of an idea. So once again, face is at 100%. Uh, confidence 100%. Face 2 100%. That's really ranking high because they're quite visible. Uh, objects once again person person and top so it's picking up his she is down too low so it can't make that out fully it needs to feel quite confident what it's doing yes it goes in variance but something like that would mostly just be left behind so if you are say like a fashion uh, channel or something like that you're gonna want more of the shirt exposed uh, I guess I'm from the like kind of like the lower breastbone up. I yeah, guess, like that. So. Yeah, lower chest area. That's right. Yeah. You want a, a bit uh, wider crop for that, for sure. So you see, guys, that's what it does. It helps you understand not just what your thumbnails are doing now, but how to take them in the future more. 
that's that's the really good thing. It starts to give you more of a view into what you have to do in the future to get better runs from them. Uh, photo caption, muscle, photography, advertising. So that's good. That's all down close to the bottom. The font is still kind of high. Uh, there's we could like I said we could redo all of our thumbnails over this. Sp See, and it is a little bit racy. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still in a in a safe zone. But it is uh, showing that because there is more exposed skin. Yep. So if you're planning on putting us there was a, in the middle like cleavage uh, and things like that, that was at the beginning of our show, some guesses, that's something that you definitely want to want to check out. Even if it's just a picture of you in a shirt and, and shorts, it might come up as racy and uh, therefore less suggested. Yep. Or demonetized. Now you see, there's a great example of it right there, right? That That's why... I mean, they're in suits. They they do. They're circus performers. This is their outfit. They're not trying to be some like a, a savage sexual thumbnail or anything like that. This is what they wear. What and they do. What they do. Who also happen to entertain a lot of children while they're doing it. But just because of that exposed skin is enough to bring this up two marks. Does that ruin it? No. But how many times does it slow down on this? You know, it does perk up. It does get us to think a little bit more about what we're putting up there and how we might think it's very innocent, but the algorithm might not be seen it that way as much. You got to remember uh, the gray zone also always is going to be pulled in a side of caution. Uh, so if there is something, especially on YouTube, if something they are not really sure if it is uh, good or, uh, enough or, or or not good enough, they're going to put it in not good enough pale. Uh, Susan uh, have admitted it herself. That's part of their program. If it isn't gray, most likely it's going to be removed or demonetized. I want to check this one because of therapy in the name. Yeah. That's why I picked this one from us to see. Hey there, Phantom Flight 101. Great to see you. Great to see you. Hope you're doing fantastic. Being on YouTube feels like working at Disney. Yes. It does. Yes. You said it right there, Bears and Butters. I know you're joking, but you actually pretty much hit it in the butt right there. You pretty much said it. <laughs> you, you, that's a very good observation, and I agree with you. And more of that to come. Now, the green uh, rectangles that you see on there, it's the way it detects it. That's how much of the face it actually detects as a face and glasses. So you can see a person. It doesn't detect a person in you, Andrew, only in me. Mm. And uh, the only thing it detects in you is glasses. So. Yep. <laughs> it is quite a hard photo <laughs> one to work glass, with. One pair of glasses and a person with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Album cover. Oh, that's interesting. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So that also gives you an idea where it could be suggested or where it come up more in what categories, because that's exactly why it's there. Uh, this a API helps it categorize, help it put in little categories that Google and YouTube has. It's even searching for the logos in between what it ranks with, what it looks like it's going towards. And it's not reading the text, which is not good. See, this answers some of the stuff we were wondering right here. We haven't looked at this till we're looking at it with you guys. That's right. So we would have to remake our font and the way we are writing Creator Serp in order for it to be recognized by API. Yeah. So it's not reading it. It's nice that things look good and flashy, but if they're not going to work, they're not going to work. And this here is an eye opener right here. This answers some of the questions we've had about creators therapy. And yes, uh, as always, I'm going to put the links in the description. Interesting. Very interesting. That's not good. Mm -hmm. That's the first three blocks are not being recognized whatsoever. And you want to be there. You want you want don't want them empty and you want everything yep. to be what you want it to be read yep. uh, correctly read. Uh, so this is something we would definitely would have to redo for sure. That is surprising. Yeah. We are looking at these for the first time with you as well, guys. Uh, um, that was an eye opener. That was an eye opener right there. I gotta say. And uh, you might get a surprise too when you are trying yours. And uh, look at that. You like you would think, well, it's so easy to read, but. That's why we always talk about contrasting colors. It's easier for the a API to pick it up. Apparently, it's not uh, contrasting enough. That is surprising. Mm -hmm. That that really is surprising. I gotta say, 
So I want to check this one too. But this is Michael Price, uh, writer for The Simpsons, co-creator of F is for Family. And, the, and we didn't have a very good picture of him at the time, so that's why we did it more this way. And I was curious because there's a lot of bigger elements than him in there and where it would take. Can you imagine? He doesn't have any selfies. That yeah. was the only picture he could provide of him as of his face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a person that is everywhere and you didn't have pictures of himself. That is amazing. <laughs> That, that, oh, 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 why did that shoot all the way down? Sorry about that. There we go. I'm surprised we were able to get that much joy out of his photo because it's, I mean, it's big enough for it to read, but I wasn't sure. Object, see, it's, this is strange. Look at that. It's not even picking up the typewriter. Yeah, that is interesting. Maybe because it has that piece of writing on it. I'm not sure. That, that's, uh, see, guys. Maybe because it's white on white. We always took it for granted that it would be there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not bad because we want the person to be prevailed, um, but we didn't have a different picture. But if you would want that typewriter to be uh, read, it wouldn't be, which is also very interesting. I just figured it's so predominant and the coffee cup is so predominant that these would take center stage and the photo would get lost into it. That was actually a concern when we made it. The t- typewriter is too old. Yeah, I was <laughs> thinking... comment I, in the chat. I, th- I, th- I thought of that too. I did think of that, I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all it's picking up is man and glasses. So it's focusing quite heavily on this. This is this is really, really interesting. And Shining through your MK, you definitely can slap on a face on that as well. A close-up face and a product. That would be the ideal thing to do on the thumbnail if you are making something. Food-related or anything like that. Or art-related. Check out the uh, cowgirl ASMR. She has both food and her face on it. See, like, even... I mean, of course, when you have a guest like that, you want it heavily featured on... Uh, the Simpsons and F is for family and that N- not further down like that either. That, this is so, but it also tells us uh, the uh, placement of your main things of the writing that you want to have should be on the left upper side. So, yeah, left top right. But also because there's so much contrast on mm-hmm. there as well. I mean, it's heavily contrasted. That's right. This is really interesting. I, I I hope you guys are seeing the value in this of how many times we look at stuff and think, oh, yeah, this makes sense. This is the way we're going to do it. It's going to catch people's eyes. And we might be doing the polar opposite when it's all said and done. That's right. Oh, thank you, Zombified. <laughs> Strong Out Outdoors, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Great to see you, JDS uh, Flying Canuck. How are you? Everybody that's just joining us, guys, we're looking at our thumbnails. This is a new release technology to everybody. You can do a thousand uh, thumbnails a month or you can go through Morning Fame and get a more detailed explanation why things are the way they are. But we're looking at thumbnails right now and our own and trying them out with you guys and to see how the algorithm is seeing what we put up. And therefore, maybe some reasons why we're not getting stuff pushed as much as we thought we should be. And like I said, this, for instance, The Simpsons and Evans for Fam. I thought I made that so predominant this way, with good contrast, that that would take front and stay at center. But as you can see, it didn't. It's a way down here in Block Five. It's not really a. a, a it, it, it's. I'm. I'm disappointed to be honest. That's right. So really, what you should be having is more top, top left part of the uh, thumbnail that would have the most important information in it, and then the rest everywhere else. Once again, guys, like the example of I've been talking about a long time for like uh, Linus Tech Tips and them heavily exaggerated faces. That said, oh, <laughs> oh God, what morons! Ah, uh, all right, sorry guys, <laughs> stupid ass. This here, the only thing is we have a bit of trouble with it. Such idiots. But the only thing we have trouble with is because we're smaller channels. We gotta go more to uh, we gotta go more to thumbnails that we can brand harder on elements. For as I've always been saying, you know, for us, we're working more on using like the Pooch Studios banner down here at the bottom. Because you take a channel like Linus Tech Tips with what he's got nine, I don't know, a ton of subscribers, nine point two six million. His face does all the work. He doesn't need to write who he is 
there's more than enough majority to know that. So they get a little more real estate or the thumbnails. So I know some of you like to shoot like this one here, like who has the best PC at LTT. The problem is, is he's a lot more well known than us. So that's why you want to add, add an element of your branding into it. That's synonymous to help people pick you out of a crowd. So it, 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 we need it because of our size, but yeah, it kind of limits our palette a little bit more of the space we got to work with. But I mean, that's just the tools of the trade we're left with. So, but it's gotta be definitely balanced out between the content being on there, easy enough to be predominant for YouTube to appreciate it. This is so amazing, so amazing. Professor Perseverance, hello, how are you? Welcome, great. Guys, if you not hit the like button, please do. Uh, YouTube already, before we even got going tonight, limited monetization, this video as well. So, um, yeah, that would be a big help if you can do that. Um, let's see. Uh, we've looked at pretty much all of them already. Let me see if there's any other ones. Now, uh, if you wondered on Tuesday, why did we have that cheesy thumbnail? That's exactly why we were trying out. <laughs> Does that answer the question? Yeah, that's answer the question about TikTok Tuesday cheesy thumbnail on Tuesday. Uh, for me, I try. Push Studio will help you along the way. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, this is a special edition. We are talking about the thumbnails. Uh, not only how important they are, but the new tool that helps you detect um, what is in your thumbnail. And actually, does it work the way you wanted it to work? That's and right. uh, it has given some really interesting surprises here. We are looking at uh, our thumbnails here for the first time together with you. See, right away, we're detecting headwear more right off the bat. Joy, surprise. See, it's between the two faces. It's, uh, but that's kind of cool. It's seen both sides of them. Yes. They're, they're, they're seeing the surprise, but they're also seeing he is a joking individual. So that kind of really was read pretty well. It didn't just side with one or the other. It actually ranked them both uh, midways, which is a little over midways, which is quite interesting. Let's see if they gave face two, face two. I wonder which one of the faces is recognizing. Oh, the dog, I bet you. I wonder, I wonder. Man, hot. Person, person. Okay, so it's seen two of the three. This one got cut off, but it's seeing a couple of them. The dog, because I was surprised, because the dog is very hard to see where it is. Uh, labels. Detroit Red Wings. Look, guys, right on his toque. Picked out the logo. That's right. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you don't want the logo to show up if it's something that is against the law. And it's not like he's featuring it like blatantly. His head is tilted up. The toque is pulled up some. It's, it's not like a very easy uh, setup for it to be uh, to be noticed. So there you go. Uh, um, I don't know if you have our Halloween uh, thumbnail still saved or not, because oh interesting, the copper roll says amazing. Just tried it on a Halloween thumbnail for a video that did awful. And it comes up as likely violence. Uh, so there you go. Uh, you can play around and uh, check out what you have on different thumbnails that you have. Figure out what is the best for you. It is something to fiddle around. It's not going to tell you exactly what and how to do. But it's such a great eye opener. It's such a great eye opener. It goes well beyond contrastly colors, you know, uh, two, three words. Uh, faces, uh, you know, clear and, and high resolution. Well beyond that, it gives so much insight in what to put where, on how it reads and what it doesn't read, and maybe what is important and what is not important in your thumbnail. I mean, that is crazy eye opener. Hike with Mike. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? I want to try the Huntsman. Because the Huntsman was having such a hard time. This is what we did with him. This is not one of his thumbnails. But I'm just curious for the hunt, just because of the word hunt in there. So there's the face detection, face detection right away. But it, he is kind of a monotone face in this one, so that's a fair enough assumption. It's not rating them very high on any of those parts. Headwear right away has been noticed uh, very likely. Let's see, let's scroll up a bit so you guys can see it more. Let's go to objects, hot man. Uh, safe search. Racy, see? See? Mm -hmm. Racing. Possible. Let's see where it's for. With the ones you know, Blue Orange Group. Uh, Once again, with YouTube, you want to err on the side of caution. I was looking to see. Saturday it. Night Party. Hmm. It's detecting Saturday Night Party. Where is it detecting Saturday Night Party? 
Block nine. That's not good at all. That's awful. I don't know where is it. Block block nine. I think you can uh, take it off so it would come off. That is so weird. Maybe it's underneath something. Could be. Wow. That is crazy, guys. Do you see that? We don't see with our eyes anything that says Saturday Night Party, but the thumbnail might be created on top of uh, the previous thumbnail. And maybe it still has something underlaid of it that says Saturday Night Party. It still can read it. Maybe it says rectangle here. There's, there's no beer ball or anything like that or something. Wow. Right that is crazy, guys. Things you can't even see with your own eyes. Much love to you, Tales from the Lotus Podcast. Sorry, guys, that picked up a copy and paste. Uh, picked up a copy and paste from an old thumbnail. It is possible. It is possible. It could also be something in the back on the bottle that's picked up on too. There could be all kinds of things. I think he had a beer bottle in that shot. I'm gonna Maybe. Open, I'm gonna open up the big one. Bear with me. And this is crazy, guys. You think you look at this image and it is, uh, you know, it is pretty neutral image. It, it's not angry. It doesn't have anything, you know, that is super uh, violent or super bad in it. Uh, it has nothing to do with party whatsoever. But uh, yes, this is crazy. Uh, yes, food galore. Of course it is. And that's why we want to know as much as possible about it. This is so strange. And it, it is not really about controlling. It is about how it is suggesting your video, your, your thumbnails and therefore you're videos. Not, you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe. You want to know how strong the algorithm is? I just figured it out. Now, I hope I can show it to you guys. Let me see. Oh, this is crazy, guys. You guys can't really see it. Look under the huntsman in the bottom left corner. Wow. The screenshot. Saturday night party. Holy crap. It picked that up from the fade background in there. So most likely this is not ad uh, friendly. Yep. Because they don't want to have parties in there. It might not be for all audiences as well. Makes so much sense now. So anybody's just joining us, we're checking out this new tool that's used to, to look at the way the algorithm does at your thumbnails. Picked it up on the PC. Amazing. My, I, it's blown me. I just happened to look. I have a fr uh, freshly dug up deer. <laughs> I wonder what that says. Go and try it out. Try it out. Oh, my God. Send it to me quickly on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> Strong and Outdoors. You give me the permission for it. Send it to me fast. I'll put it up. We'll see. I will check that out. That says Saturday night onto it. it. Says Saturday night party late chat, and it picked it up, and that's where that's coming from, and that could be hurting our thumbnail. I know, isn't that amazing? The co that Cobra roll. I, I, I can't believe that. I cannot believe that. You guys probably can't even read it, like I say. But look at the the for the Huntsman. Down in the just below it, there's like a screen you can see the back of uh, the laptop, and underneath of it's the title from one of our live streams, and that's where it's getting, and that could have been hurting us with that thumbnail right there. That's right. Without us ever even having the faintest clue, and I'll tell you the only reason why I found it. Uh, sorry, let me jump back for a second here. Let me bring them side by side. If you look here, you see under the Huntsman, there's two boxes. So I was literally looking in the rectangle boxes to see what would be around there. And that's what I see in the text. Unbelievable. Now talking about subliminal messages, drunkings and Darwin, it actually penalizes you. And for example, if your subliminal messages that yes, I see already your ideas doesn't reflect what your video is about, it actually will penalize you as well. That's a lot of people have been trying to use it in a coding system on their about section and descriptions. And that actually is against the uh, um, guidelines and actually can get your channel removed altogether so i wouldn't be fooling with that i'm curious what it's seen in here too because there's a smudge yeah there was something there there was something there but what it's a beer bottle i took out a beer bottle from the shot but it's not there anymore that's what i mean <laughs> i'm so pretty creepy. do not quote me on this and i'm ready to go back and find the original photo that i took this from if it's possible it was taken from a video of his I'm gonna talk to. I'm gonna ask the huntsman about this. Now I'm on the hunt for this one. I bet you there was a beer bottle there before. 
Oh, uh, Dorsey girl, we can't take a thumbnail from your video. You're gonna send us on Twitter if there's it's something. And don't put the links to your um, videos, please. It's yep. insane. Yes, it is insane. I mean, uh, wow. <laughs> I, I I don't even know what to say on that one. Struggle Doors sent it. Uh, Struggle, can you send me the actual thumbnail? I'm gonna try and get it from here. Okay. In the meantime, though, if you can, it just make it a lot easier. If you can send the actual JPEG that you used. If you do have it around, uh, we can use it from there. This is unbelievable. And I didn't expect I this it. coming I'll into it. I'll send it to you in a minute. Okay. In where? Facebook? Yeah. Okay. All right. We're going to have it. This, this is so freaking weird. You guys right there? Yep. Do that uh, CSI stuff. Go on it, Andrew. <laughs> Find out. <laughs> yeah, that's right, JDS. That is true. I, I and This is mind-blowing. Really, this is crazy. I didn't expect it. I was so dumbfounded when I was writing that. And now with the, with the bottle. Because, no, but this answers all, so many questions right there in this one. It really does. It really does. And thank you to Strung Out for uh, the offer for this. This uh, this is a great one to, to look at as well. New file. Uh, desktop. Let's see what it says. Okay, so it says person, animal, animal. Why is it seeing animal toys? Oh, in the in the probably in the the in his uh, logo and hat. Look at even the hat, guys. Just the top of the brim is pretty much in there. And it's picked up on the hat. So let's go and take a look. Wildlife, soil, organism, grass, tree, deer. On Twitter, you can send a thumbnail if you want. Mm. But we're going to pick this couple because we don't want to uh, have it too long for the live stream today. Megan Fox, how are you, Megan? Good to see you. Good to see you. We're just sitting here getting our minds blown. You're really within uh, your, for the most part, deers right at the top, head, web entries and that. That's good. And it's right. It makes a difference how many ads you get, what kind of ads you get, how much rate do you have per click. Yep. You know, you would think why some people have higher rate for their advertising and some has a dollar for a thousand views. Well, that's part of it. That's not all of it, but it's part of it. And it's so a great part in suggested videos as well, if it gets pushed or not. And so this is something to look at too. You see with your D, it's not seeing as a D, it's seeing as a V. Vigging up to your head. Mm -hmm. These are all things that you don't want. You want this to represent exactly what's written there. Crazy. And look, you're down below, like your block five is below even your title because it's more predominant. So your title isn't getting as much coverage as it should be. And suddenly it's... Uh, so you should definitely, you yeah. would you would have to redo the writing part where it's not reading it properly. Yep. Only passenger fellow, how are you? Oh crap, my dad makes me watch it. <laughs> yeah, it's a new tool where you can analyze your uh, thumbnails. Uh, we talked about that in, uh, throughout the live stream and now we're trying out uh, one from you guys, Strung Out Outdoors. Now you see, it's not too bad there. It's still seen it more as an animal. Now, had you had a rifle with you in that shot, all bets would most likely be off right there, without a doubt. I was curious if it was listed as violent. So was I. I don't think it knows it's, uh, it's dead. No. That's what you're getting away with on right now. That's why I say if he would have had the rifle with him in the shot and stuff like that, the rifle would have taken precedence. Do you, do you have a thumbnail, by the way, with a uh, struggle? Do you have a thumbnail with you with a rifle or bow? That's in the thumbnail. Sorry to be picking your brain tonight, but uh, since uh, since you're my hunting guy here right now, well, Grant McIntosh here as well. That's true too. If you guys have one, uh, Jackie sent hers. Let's see. Here. This is absolutely crazy. And I'm gonna. Here they go. Didn't go anywhere. Sorry. Um, yeah, I can't. I don't know. I can't access it. Uh, just a link of the video probably would be best. I can't access the image. It's in the large JPEG format. Can you? Yeah, 
as I'm trying to save it. Yeah, it saves it to the launch JPEG instead of JPEG, so. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Uh, well, I can try and find uh, strung out of drawers, maybe. They, do you have any bloody ones? Yeah, we're just looking, like, especially like these ones are more recent. Like this, now you see this surprise? Surprise me, but yeah, your your logo is actually taking precedence over your title, or your sub or, your, or a subtitle. Well, you mostly have animals. I mean, I uh, I wouldn't be worried too much. I, I was just looking throughout. You don't really have anything that is too too bloody there, so it should be fine. Anybody has any bloody <laughs> thumbnails? Give me a link to the video. That's easier, probably. Outdoorsy girl. Okay, let's see what do you have here. Jack, you gotta send me a link. Sorry about that. I uh, otherwise I can't get it. It doesn't come up. That's Twitter. Everybody has their own. Well, see, it doesn't. It's not. It's just not gonna detect anything there, outdoorsy girl. Hmm. RP links and such. I didn't see it. Yes, because we don't provide it before the live stream. It would be counterintuitive, right? He said there is one with a deer with a rifle. Okay, uh, can't really see it. Is it? Oh, oh, it came up again. I'm sorry. There he goes. This is outdoorsy girl. And uh, DR sniper said we do provide the links after the live stream. Thank you. Ben on adventures. Hello. How are you doing? Pulled back muscle today working on the house. Oh no. You don't want to do that. You're going to be all in pain when Sharni comes over. That's uh, one half of our other half of our hashtag Blue Range group uh, couple. That's right. Uh, thank you. Uh, so we have Outdoorsy Girl and Jackie with her food related items. Okay. Uh, this one here? Yeah. Okay. Building. I'll send you one. That one's not going to work. Sorry. No problem, Strong Out of Doors. No problem at all. Don't worry about that. So, yeah, it's snow, freezing, property, winter, shed, home, house. But you see, this sometimes this can be a little too on the nose. You got everything there and you can see it. But you also want some text and stuff. Realize there's a balance with that too. It's because there's the only really one thing to go with, which is nice. But this is where you gotta kind of like spruce up your thumbnails to attract a wider range. It's very specific and you're hitting some great keywords. But still, we also have to balance that between visual uh, pleasing as well and stuff. So always remember that there is a balance. Just have to say that. Well, obviously your views accumulate during the time as well. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's not only the thumbnails, also the title. Uh, but also it accumulates over the time so don't forget about that you can't really compare the videos uh, the same way and new ones and the older ones what you can do is their performance in the same amount of time which new YouTube studio beta actually uh, gives you a chance to do is to compare the videos uh, for their performance in like first day or first three days first seven days uh, and that's a little bit more objective See, right now it's got Jackie with headwear, and that's because the Oreo is over top of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, joy and surprise are even. That's good. See, now if you were to do more like uh, Linus Tech tips, like here, the 64 core uh, EPYC up in the top left, more pronounced, you would get higher rankings in these. It'd be more assured that that's what it is. So you should probably have a bigger face there and uh, not uh, put uh, other things on top of it. So yep. as you can see, that Oreo is really framing you up there for her headgear. Uh, so that's something to think about. So it sees person, package goods, so it can tell. It sees clothing, because of yourself, and person. It's counting mosses. That's interesting, though. Not just to the box, it's actually going out to the other side of the Oreo because the Oreo is a branded uh, logo, it's aware of it. And because in the top corner in this box, it's almost seeing more of the thumbnail as a whole as uh, packaged goods. Interesting. 
snack advertising. Now that's pretty good though. Snacks is there. Oreo, 99% sure that's that. Display advertising. Fudgeco, Fudgeco, Fudgeco. It's on top of the box. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So it's gone as far Minty as fubes. <laughs> 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 Oh, she had the French box, so that's I why. I know, yeah. but it, it's minty fumes. Yeah, I just didn't realize at the time. I was like, why the hell? Thank God it's not pubes. But it made a connection to it. Interesting. Yeah, took the minty and over from there. It just shows you when you overlap type. <laughs> but this is very serious, though. This shows you when you overlap type, yep. how it can actually mi uh, misrepresent your thumbnail. Yeah, it, it, I guess it doesn't percept the, the depth yet. No. Nope. Uh, in time, probably, it will learn that, too. And that's really important to know. This is a really important message, because you could actually screw up all your title by it, by it being overlapped that way. Yeah, so that's a good tip, a good thing to know as well. It doesn't perceive in depth, so you're going to know what you're overlapping. Mm -hmm. Save search. Got too racy. Sweet treat heaven, probably something. In, mm -hmm. Probably heaven is bringing that up a little <coughs> bit. Yeah. That, that, it's not bad, but that it just shows you how, th how a little bit uh, can make such a difference. Now, once again, it is not in red. It's just two squares, so most likely it's fine. But it just gives you an idea that it already has inkling of something going on there than just a neutral, you know, safe search video. Here's what I was looking for. Here's what. I'm... Okay, guys. If anybody, I, I. Uh, hold on one second. Is it saving it properly? No. Who knows what it's gonna read in our video now? Yeah, if uh, just a uh, safe uh, watching, just uh, FYI, guys, if you are a vegetarian or anything like that, uh, you're okay to uh, switch off the video. <laughs> uh, it's fine. We're just doing a little experiment here, but we understand if you don't want to look at the screen. Yeah, and we will tell you when it's off, so have no fear, but there is going to be a shot of a deer, guys, so there you go. A deer with a rifle. Object deer. I'm not picking up the rifle. Interesting. That is really interesting. I mean, you're still gonna you're gonna remember AI. It is a learning machine. So what it might not pick up now, it might later. And every time we upload these things, even when we just try out our thumbnails, we're teaching them something. But you know, it read it enough to know that it's a white-tailed deer. It didn't put it down as a mule deer, or black deer, or anything. Went by the facial features enough to be able to tell. Wow. But it didn't pick up on the rifle. That is bizarre. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Well, because it didn't detect rifle. Exactly. There is no blood. That's so therefore, it didn't see it as violent. Very interesting. I'm going to download a picture of a rifle. Now I'm Maybe curious. because of camo. Yeah, it might be because of the camel. And that's what I'm thinking too. It's blended just in enough. But I mean, that's pretty, like, I mean, between the words and that, it should have seen the outline between it. I, I'm, I'm surprised on that one. Even I think it's still learning. Let's see here. Let like, see. it's apparently uh, what we've read so far is it doesn't have a face recognition built into this one yet. It knows that it's a face, but it doesn't recognize yet. So, uh, like, unless it's a branded face, you know? <laughs> A face that is a brand uh, it's not gonna be recognizing it just yet but it's learning it's learning so yeah no I know motivation theory hello by the way uh, we're just uh, want to be careful with all of our viewers so we're gonna let you know where it's still up there just while we're doing that, so. how are you doing motivation theory we're talking about a new tool for uh, thumbnails and detection of what and how you're doing on them and is it good for YouTube is it good for Google is it something that you should be changing? Or is it something surprising that you never thought your thumbnail entails? Well, like we just discovered on ours. You never know. Uh, and right now we're testing some of uh, our viewers' thumbnails just to see what it detects in different type of categories. Zion, hello, how are you? Halloween is violent, but the rifle isn't. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. It's, it is weird, but... Well, but see, it sees a weapon. At 51%, how much more... Now... Let me say, there might be a rhyme to reason for this. 
And this is a good thing if it is. Maybe it grades more if it's an assault weapon versus Maybe. a rifle. Maybe. And that's a good thing. At least it's giving some benefit of the, of the doubt to itself. This, this, that's something to consider. Now, we don't know yet what are the categories, why it categorizes like that. Like, what characteristics it has to be for the category to be applied. We don't but know I'm that. I'm looking here, gunfire, rifle, trigger, yep. air gun, shock. It's not showing up like assault rifle or anything. Well, uh, uh, that's good. Yep. Maybe it has to. Maybe there is a point system that it acquires, so it has to have certain point system to be it in a higher level. And it's picked up Winchester because I specifically was searching for Very a thirty thirty Winchester. So there you go. So we don't have a deer on, yeah. People can yeah. look back now. You yes. can look back at the oh, screen. I said that a while ago, yeah. I'm just saying once again, mm -hmm. it's safe to look at the screen. This is interesting. I don't want to put an assault right, guys. I'm sorry. I'll try it on my own, but I do not want to put it up here. I don't want to test it too much. They've already limited monetization just for us talking about the damn thing. Uh, that is really interesting. But that Huntsman one, that just blows me away. Yeah, it picked up the stuff that we didn't even know is there. That is just crazy, guys. That, that, that one takes the cake. Really yeah, it might be that it's a hunting gun versus the other. It could be that too. Like I said, it might be have a, a certain point system to it. Yeah, look at that once again. We're back to our Huntsman picture and uh, interview with the Huntsman. And it actually was reading uh, things that weren't even there visible. Like Saturday Night Party. For those of you that just came in, can oh. you see if it's Saturday Night Party there? Okay. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Anybody just joining us? We were looking through and the text, right, all these green boxes means it's picked up some sort of text somewhere along the line. Now this empty box that's here, that's probably block six, I don't know what was there before, but it seems to me I had to airbrush a bottle of beer out of there. It seems to me, now I could be wrong, I don't remember this was a while back. But if you look under the Huntsman, you see there's two little green boxes. Well we were trying to figure out where it's found in all of this Saturday night party. And if you come over here, and uh, and most almost all our freaking inter every interview has yeah. this, every one every of them. interview has it, yeah. And zoomed in here is Saturday night party. Let's chat. Well, uh, yeah, the black and white uh, see-through picture behind the the main titles uh, has a screenshot of a laptop that has a title under the video that was played at the time when the picture was taken that ha says Saturday Night Party. That is absolutely It's detecting crazy. it and it's not good. Not <laughs> it's good. not good at all. Uh, wow. Uh, it, it, there, the Cobra roll, I just did it with a picture of an assault rifle and it gave very unlikely for every day for every category. Very interesting. And at the same time, the animated gun here uh, for uh, Dan, the man, uh, says my cartoon gun got more racy than the gun, the real one. Unbelievable. So I think it's just still it's still learning. And we we got to understand that it's still in the learning process. This won't give you all the answers. What it does is start to realize a how evolved it's gotten and at the same time, how flaky it still is and how you have to try and stay out of the gray area as much as possible. Because you know why? The answer's right there. It's a crapshoot. It's literally a crapshoot when you upload something. Is it going to pass or not? That, that We were only supposed to be on for a bit, but that just blew my mind. It did. That blew my mind. It did. It definitely did. I uh, didn't even know that. I made the damn thing. I didn't know that was there. Never even crossed my mind. I made that a year and a half ago. You know how many videos we have? In the, you know how that could hurt our videos? It could raise up the level on them. Mm -hmm. And even if it doesn't, it's just the point that it's seeing it is so crazy. You know? Uh, Mind blowing. Guys, if you haven't hit the like button, please do. It really helps us a lot. We were limited monetized for this even before we started. So if you guys can do that, it really helps us out a lot. And if you can tweet it out so other people can see it as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, can you remove that comment though uh, the Corva roll please I just don't want to have it. anybody who put in like a, those words can you just remove them just because we're already up en against enough of a wall tonight but yeah that would definitely do it that would do it now if you want to get your mind blow even more than that and you have time to fiddle around with it tonight uh, check out the video intelligence tool yep that's right that's the one that reads what we say what you say and what the video is about 
check it out uh, you can check out the examples that are already preloaded in the page that i'm going to give you or you can sign up for free for the thousand uploads and thousand streamed uh, uh videos and check out uh, some of yours yep. see what it detects there is it actually about what you want to be about and does it uh, compare to the thumbnail everything should be the same your thumbnail your title and the content that you have and that is gonna be key to the success so check it all out uh, get your mind blown even more with the video tool and video AI of reading everything what you're doing there and remember guys this is a window into how the algorithm is seeing you it really is think it's ridiculous think it's stupid think whatever it is but nonetheless every time you put up a video this is what's grading you this is where you sometimes it's one of the options that you might be getting your gold coins from or green or none or any of the above it's starting here and uh, I see I'm gonna have to watch this live I missed when I can yeah, oh no pro oh tr not x by the way how are you welcome 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 we are talking guys about and the links will be in the chat at the end guys and we'll put them out for you but we we're just showing it's a, a new window into what the AI is seeing when you create thumbnails and how to grade them and check them in advance to see where you can make changes for things that might be ranking you lower. Papa Doc, how are you? Great to see you. I hope you're doing fantastic. Um, doing well, a little shocked, <laughs> a little shocked. We were grading this thumbnail, for instance, with the Huntsman. And we have a background that we use for all of our interviews and, and this is all the words that I can find in the thumbnail and there's these two right under the in the the Hudson and trying to figure out what it was and you can see it actually here it has Saturday night party and we're like there's no Saturday night party in here there is that's exactly what's written there Saturday night party even as faded as it is you guys won't even be able to see it most likely from the screen but it's right under the and it's faded in from the background we've been using that we've used for what a year and a half yeah uh, remember at the beginning of the live stream we did talk about why the thumbnails are important and it's not only uh you know for the visuals it's your views your watch time your subscribers the way you earn your money if you're monetized because that's also depends on your thumbnail and of course the suggested push. videos are uh, push on your home page it is very important if you just joined us uh, turn it back to the beginning of the live stream uh, with starting with the presentation and uh, the examples of this new tool we talked about it is very important so much insightful we are blown away and i think you're gonna be too we are gonna add all the links tomorrow in the description uh, so come back uh, if you're looking for those and once again guys that's why it's so important to have faces in there bright faces the more the better we are bringing up uh, examples tonight like linus tech tips to somebody who over exaggerates faces for that exact reason to attract more of a definite response from the algorithm it's done that way purposely as you can see here they, they're not overstating it we would have made the faces even bigger in some ways and uh, it picked up at uh, rates as high as joy by the look on their faces. But when you go over to safe search, they get an extra bar for racy just because of the clothing they're wearing. That's uh, that's how sensitive the AI is. And I wouldn't imagine if they would be in the full body, you know, yeah. like that probably would be even well, more. Well, like you said, the, but even just cleavage and stuff yeah. like that, you know, I mean, nothing. Uh, uh, I mean, not like. I mean, not overly sexualized. What about a woman who's talking about breastfeeding and stuff like that and everything, you know? The topic, plus if she's wearing any kind of sweat, you know? Yeah, shirt. yeah. Uh, so what to do if uh, the, with a the faded PC background? Well, uh, you, sh you would have to remake, like if it's something that is very important, you would have to remake your thumbnail. I mean, it's not a bad thing per se, and it's just more work for you to do. Uh, but that's something to do. Uh, you could either completely remake it or uh, cover it with the tools that uh, YouTube uh, TubeBuddy already has. It, it, it gives you like an option of putting a sticker on <laughs> or uh, things like that. But mm, you got to be careful, you know, what you're putting on once again. Uh, definitely. The Susie channel. Hello. Hey, what about green snack cakes? <laughs> <laughs> Love seeing you. How are you doing? And the creator spotlight show says his face is mostly detected as surprised. Interesting. Very interesting. It, it, it is so... Uh, it, I don't know. This is mind-blowing. It really, really is. 
Bonnie Bass uh, Fishing. Let's try something here. Is it a copyright picture? No, it's not. No. I check. I know. <laughs> I make a lot of thumbnails. So, uh, yes, it is copyright free. Copyright free, I'm yes. just uh, confirming, yeah. just FYI. So they, they sent Joy into her. Or <laughs> I gotta make the joke. Or, or in the guys in the chat. One of the two. There are ladies in the one. chat, too. Guys and there are some kids, that. too. So just be careful. It's in a bikini. So it's nothing bad. And it's 1030 at night. Mother Hubbard. And Eastern. Object. Woman. Swimwear. Brazier. Wow. <laughs> Brazier. Whoever coded this one was not born in, <laughs> in a... <laughs> In two thousands, I, I don't. Sure. I don't know what you. I, I don't know what you guys. I gotta come back for something. You know what? I'm like every red-blooded North American folks, and there's nothing turns me on more than a young girl out in her brazier out by the bay. I don't care what anybody says. You gotta love a good brazier. That's right. So there you go. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that word to come up. That's a good one. Stop giggling. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Undergarment, swimsuit, Call bottom, bikini, lingerie. Undergarment. That's right. That's oh, a thigh is there. Oh, see, it says model. Yeah. And good. Interesting. So, you, oh no, look at that. Yeah, I know. Look I at know. that. The word that we're not going to pronounce here is number one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So that's already is not good. And which is not, I mean, there's nothing to do with that, but it just shows you how quickly the line goes. It also matched you with the images, with the pages where the picture can be found, which if it's a copyright one. There you go, Ooh. folks. There you go. Right there. Right there. <laughs> you like that one, Strong? <laughs> That's right. There you go, guys. Adult is already up to number two. Racy's at the top. She's in a bathing suit. How many videos in a week? How many spoiled rot millennials do travel videos on here with their girlfriends in a bikini trotting all around? Seriously. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, it should feature faces. I mean, scenery is great and it does detect scenery. It does detect uh, landmarks so like, you know, uh, Eiffel Tower, um, things like that. It, it, it's going to detect it. Uh, but YouTube prefers faces with positive expressions. Yep. And although Google is the main uh, key to all of this, uh, it we also have to take into account the YouTube uh, preferences and guidelines as well. Once again, it didn't doesn't tell you what to do. It just gives you a hint of what it sees on uh, your images, uh, so you can make your own decisions on it, what you have to change or not kind of learning tool and it learns every time we upload a picture it will learn with you and that's what it's there you wonder why it's free for a thousand images a month that's exactly why you're paying with information that's how it always works crazy absolutely crazy TubeBuddy is free by the way uh, you can sign up for free we used it for most of our YouTube life for free uh, and I think like six months ago maybe we signed up uh, for it, so sign up for free first, try it out, and if you like it, then you can sign up for the next level. By the way, if you're under 1k, uh, it gives you, I think, 50% off uh, uh, for the subscription. Yeah, so sign up for free, Outdoorsy Carl. Uh, it's 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 really cool with free options as well. I'm as blown away tonight. I am absolutely blown away. That was not the. Uh, it's not the misleading brand aerials because no. you would have your face uh, holding your drone and then the scenery behind you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I mean, it's not obligatory. It's not 100%, but it's the preference, you know, and we are small channels. We got to have those preferences, you know, high up in our priority list for bigger channels, you know, here and there. Although for them, it might be thousands of dollars in revenue who knows it might be even more important for them than it is for us they ask for a credit card for free since when never did before maybe it's a new thing tweet at them at t uh at two buddy motivation theory do you have answer to this why is it asking yes. there you i go. think i think you know that one it wasn't asking for a credit card information before for signing up for free for two buddy 
And Whimsy, uh, Willow Whimsy says, yes, it's only $4.50 U.S. if you're under 1K. Yeah. Uh, That's right. Or, like I said, you can sign up for free and try it out. We used uh, TubeBuddy and VidIQ in conjunction for free um, when we weren't paying for it. And both of them has a little bit different features. I prefer TubeBuddy. Well, we prefer TubeBuddy. Mostly we're using TubeBuddy. A little bit VidIQ, but mostly now TubeBuddy. Uh, but if you can sign up for free uh, for both of them, that should be good for now. I was given a free star level, uh, so I don't remember. Yeah, um, um. but we, when we were signing up, and that was a long time ago, so I'm, that might be different. I would tweet uh, for at TubeBuddy and ask them. That shouldn't be that shouldn't be an issue, really. Uh, yes, I didn't think so either, right? Yeah. I'll have to go analyze my videos. Ghost Pirate says, "Yeah, guys." Check them out and see. Check them out and see. Yeah, well, well, guys, uh, check it out. Your thumbnails and uh, the surprise link uh, with your videos. Upload, uh, sign up for free and upload a part of your video. Check out what does it see there. Is it something you want to be seen there or not? Who knows? What examples and what surprises is going to open inside the videos? And guys, we're going to ask you, please, if you haven't already, to hit the like button. And even though we're getting close to the end, if you guys can tweet it out some more, see it. It is limited monetization. It's not getting much of a push. Plus, it's not in our regular time. That would really, really help us out a lot. So, wow, I'm only eight away. Oh, I got to remove it. I'm sorry, JDS. I'm happy for you, but we got to remove. We're removing everybody's numbers. Wait sorry. for push a push. Wait for push a push. Love to give you a push a push, my friend. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Smash that like button and share it out. This uh, useful information for everybody. Uh, check out from the beginning of the live stream if you missed it. Lots of amazing information there. Share it out. Subscribe to us if you're new. Ring the bell so you know when the surprise special edition streams are on. And we're going to be back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's right, guys. Thank you so much. Great hanging out with you all. And if you guys can help share it out and get the word around, that would be awesome. Love for more people to see this. I think they're going to be blown away just like you were. Much love, folks. See us tomorrow. Be well and uh, keep creating, guys. Just keep checking that. Make sure what you're creating isn't hurting you on YouTube. And there's your tool for it. Good Do luck. Well.